I actually remember the day I decided I wanted to be in computing. I was in the third grade and we had a visitor. She was a computer engineer. I raised my hand and I said, excuse me, are you saying that I could also be a computer engineer? And she said, sweetheart, you can be whatever you want to be. Done. I went to college and <laughs> ran towards the computer science department. I also, in freshman year, got pregnant with my first child. I met my husband, we got married. By sophomore and junior year, I'm holding down three jobs and trying to be a wife and a mother. And you know, things just kind of shift focus from I want to be this female African-American computer engineer to I want to be a good mom, I want to be a good wife. So my gear shifted a little bit. And I can't say that I was completely happy about the shift. My family owns a Christian bookstore. It's called Ephesus Christian Bookstore. It's in Pine Bluff, Arkansas. And in that time, I was watching the family business start to crumble a bit. Things were not going well. Customers were not coming through the doors. I'm looking at my family, I'm looking at the business, and I'm seeing how I could be um, of benefit in some kind of way. So I graduated, I ran the family businesses for 10 years. We went from everything being by hand to everything being automated. Somewhere around that sixth or seventh year in the family business, all of the technology was in place and I kind of felt like, do I really still need to be here? But I still stayed. I knew I was supposed to move on and I didn't because you don't want to hurt family. And I found myself getting sick. One day, cleaning my house, I fainted, just kind of fell out. And I remember talking to my mother and I had this really weird <laughs> moment. And she stopped me and said, what was that? We need to take you to a doctor. The doctor's office calls me and says, Liska, I need you to get to a hospital now. The official diagnosis was severe immune deficiency. And so organs begin to slowly shut down. I spent the next about nine months or so in my bed. It just shut me down. I remember saying, God, I had a dream when I was a little girl. And if you just let me up out of this bed, I'm gonna go after that. I really still want to be an African-American woman in computing. If you just give me the strength to get up, I promise I will take off running the second you let me up and I won't stop until you're pleased. So I had a doctor's appointment. Basically my doctor said, Liska, we've checked your numbers. If you're looking healthy, you can go back to work. You can go back to your life. I left the doctor's office. I was signed up for classes that day. I graduated, I got my master's degree. I came to my mom and said, mama, you know, there's this opportunity for me to go up to Fort Smith and to go work at this company, Arc Best. And she says, okay, you interested? And I said, yeah, yeah, I'm interested. I think I wanna go. And she says, go, go, it's okay. We'll be fine. I was worrying over nothing because yet again, God was kind of fighting my battles and, and taking care of it all unbeknownst to me. I work very much with the young people at the church. I truly believe that my goal is to usher in the young people to, and to open up their hearts and their minds to how good God is. Kids struggle just as much if not more as adults do. And I just believe that it's our job to help facilitate them, to help walk them through uh, this daily walk, to be good examples for them the best we can. I'm so excited to say this part. I feel like I'm in my season. I mean, I gotta tell you, right now is good times. 